Hey there friends and enemies, Jopu here again and today I want to show you the first secret quest in Black Myth Wukong as while the early game is pretty linear, there are some secrets to find that you should not miss and this will lead you to two secret bosses, a bunch of materials to upgrade your character, and an item that will make the fight against the final boss of chapter 1 significantly easier. This is the Three Bells quest, and it starts off relatively simply by proceeding into the outside the forest, forest of wolves area. If you see the large wandering white boss, head to your left and you're going to find Guangzi. This is a boss that you need to fight regardless of what else you do in chapter one because he is missable but will provide you with your very first transformation. That transformation is incredibly effective. Not only does fire damage help against Wander and White and another secret boss you'll fight later on, but having that transformation gives you a essentially free health bar as well. So it's really important to snag this as soon as possible. Once you can beat Guangzi, there is going to be a large bell you can ring. Do this and you'll get a little information that this is going to rile up the enemies in the area. Don't worry about that for now because it really doesn't come into play at this point. Then you're going to proceed through the main story, the main path of chapter one until you get to the next boss, Guang Mao. Now, Guang Mao is not overly difficult in my opinion. It is located at the Snake Trail Bamboo Grove area. Just follow the lanterns on the side of the path if you get lost whatsoever. And then once you defeat him, head up the stone steps instead of continue on to the cave to the right. There you'll find the second bell. Once again, you'll ring it and nothing will happen except for another voice line from your NPC companion. From there, keep going in the main part of the uh, chapter, and you're going to fight another boss called the White Clad Noble. Now, in my opinion, this is the hardest boss you'll fight early on in the game. I'm not going to explain why, but you'll see for yourself sooner rather than later. Now, this boss is again along the path, so you can't miss it. It's only the first boss that you fight that will be off to the side, and you could miss the bell if you're not paying attention here's when things change a little bit you're gonna head through a cave in order to find the next bell which is guarded by some little npc and little enemies that are not overly difficult once you beat them and ring the bell you're actually going to get teleported to a new location in that new location, the ancient Guangyin Temple, you're going to want to grab the three chests that are there. There are some very useful items in there, and you can get that right away. Then you're going to want to rest up because you're going to experience the second secret boss of the level called Elder, Elder Jinchi. Now, this boss is very similar to the Wandering White with some changes, so I'm not going to explain that. Definitely experience it for yourself because it's kind of wild. And it is a very fun boss fight, even if it's a bit of a reskin. But upon beating this boss, you're actually going to get the Fireproof Mantle. And this thing is tremendously helpful early on. It's the only item that you get in Chapter 1 in this slot, so there's no other options for it. It has the activation effect for a short duration after activation grants burn immunity and gradually increasing focus. Highly effective in specific environments and against specific enemies. Now, it also significantly increases burn resistance and grants immunity to scorch damage from lava covered ground. So, this is incredibly helpful because if you haven't gotten to the final boss of chapter one, I'm going to spoil it here a little bit. I won't show it or show any gameplay, but you've been warned. This final boss is a giant fire bear. And so because of that, obviously having burn resistance is going to come in handy. Not only that, but after beating these two bosses, you will also have your transformation and you'll be able to craft some new armor as well. So overall, highly recommend you check this out. I will leave the gameplay for you to check out my fights against some of the bosses that I was able to beat to get to this area, including Elder Jinchi. If you want to check that out, uh, that's going to be here at the end of the video. But for now, I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel. Really helps a lot. 
this game has been a ton of fun to cover so far. I'm really excited, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show you some more secrets going forward. Enjoy the rest of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, my name is Jopa. Have a good one. I'll catch you all later. Tofor 你回来了
меня ちょっと。怎么得有他这一天。不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不不